what are malware packers. In this video, we're gonna take a look, do a deep dive and see what malware packers do. They not only obfuscate code, but make it much harder for a malware analyst to do their job. This video, we're going to dive deep, take a packed malware sample. And I'll show you how to run it through a debugger and then find the unobfuscated code so that you can go forth and reverse engineer. First, let's jump into a little bit of theory about malware packers. Malware packer is going to take that executable, that malware executable, and transform it into a new executable with what we're referring to here as a packed section. That's going to be obfuscated function calls, obfuscated strings, anything that makes it harder for an antivirus scanner to actually do its job and look for any malicious activity. So it's hiding that malicious activity. We see that there's a little bit of a stub or what's actually called an unpacker in this example that when executed, when that packed executable is run, the unpacker is going to take that packed section, reload it into memory, reconstruct everything that that unpacked on the left hand side executable looks like and takes it and brings it to its original form and what's important here is that it's being done in memory and that's why we look for some things like a virtual alloc or heap alloc or any of those types of api calls or functions that create a brand new executable memory section where the real malware can be stored. And so in the demo that we're going to get to, we don't know where once we hit or put that information or that into the debugger, that packed malware sample, the debugger is bringing us into the original starting point for the packer. We need to find it for the payload. And that's why we're going to be setting it on virtual alloc so we know where everything starts to get unpacked. So let's jump into the demo. First things first, we need to load our malware sample into X32 debug. Right now I have it on my desktop listed as Drydex. Got it all ready. Going to Go ahead, drop it in. All right, now let me grab that and make it a little bigger. Once it's loaded, we'll land somewhere. It might be Candyland, it might be, I don't know. But we're not landing at the actual entry point for this malware's code. We need to actually go in and set a breakpoint on virtual alloc. So with that, we type in BP down here at the command. So we're going to be breaking on virtual alloc. Why are we doing it on virtual alloc? That's because malware often uses this function to allocate new memory regions where it can unpack and write its payload. Similar functions include heap alloc, virtual alloc, extend, any of these and Windows types of APIs that can allocate memory. But in this instance, we know it's virtual alloc, so I have it in the command bar. We've set our breakpoint. Now I am going to go ahead and hit F9. It has not hit the entry point yet. We haven't hit our virtual alloc. Hit it one more time. All right. Our breakpoint on virtual alloc has been hit. Now, 
virtual alloc has finished allocating a block of memory what we're going to do or actually when I go in and hit this debug and execute till the return the next return statement boom we have now our virtual alloc has allocated this new memory region the address of this new allocated memory is set in EAX which is this 00B90000 I'm gonna go ahead and right click on this and what we want to do is drop this and follow it in dump so as you see here the EAX address this is the address region that we're going to start and we're going to actually be looking on for the MZ header or the MS DOS header so let me go ahead and hit F9 again boom we have hit down here we see MZ so if we go ahead and I've already done this but basically what you're going to do is just copy and paste from MZ all the way down and you'll right click and you're going to actually save a binary to file and when we take a look at that I'm going to actually start up binary ninja here and show you that what this actually is that we can see that it's unpacked it's this sample right here so let's go ahead and with this we can actually go ahead and view the strings this program cannot be run in DOS mode we see the DLL files we see a bunch of other calls and so forth here so we've been able to see that this is unpacked because we've run strings on it and we analyzed it so now you have an unpacked malware that you can go in dig into a little bit more and start reversing make sure to hit that and subscribe button take a look at the next videos here and look forward to reverse engineering this in the next video thank you